Hey guys, so I read an article that you can leave the screen protector that comes on your phone and that you don't need to buy another one. So I wanted to test that out and see if it's true. And what I found out is that it's true, but you do have to customize the screen protector that already comes on your phone. So it's not an actual screen protector, it's that plastic wrap. So you can see that it's still on this iPhone and I've been using it for a while, but now I see why you need to customize it. So first of all, uh, the wrapper goes down here, okay, so it goes all the way through on your iPhone and it goes down here, right? So something that we needed to do first of all is cut that out. So we just cut that and secondly, it does cover right here your microphone. So if you record anything, your sound would be very, very low, extremely low, and if you need to make calls or anything like that, um, same thing, they will not hear you. So that's getting in the way of your microphone. So what we have to do is actually take this out. Okay, so this is the back protector, kind of. And as you can see, it goes to the front, right? So what you guys will need to do, and um, don't take out the front one or else you guys will get bubbles. So just take out the back one because that, who cares if you get bubbles. That's just protecting the back of your iPhone. And what you guys will need to do is actually cut this part off. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, we'll see if I can get that in camera without messing up. Okay, so I managed to cut around it. So you can kind of see the difference where I cut it doesn't look that great actually it looks pretty bad but it's protecting your phone now I know some of you are saying well why are you doing that you bought a thousand dollar phone and now you're just being cheap well um, some of you know that a screen protector if you buy it at Apple or anywhere else actually for that matter any store it's gonna cost you around 25 bucks and some of you just don't want to spend that money because you know you can get it on eBay or Amazon for only what a dollar maximum five dollars for tempered glass and that's a maximum number um, so you know that you can get it for a lot cheaper so there's no need for you to go and spend 25 bucks just because you want to protect your phone right away so for sure having this on until the one from eBay or Amazon comes to you is a good idea um, but it won't look nice the back will be protected I would actually leave this on the back uh, it doesn't melt in nothing happens with it okay um, and the front for sure I would change it once my Amazon or eBay screen protector comes in the mail however what I recommend having this <laughs> wrapper as a screen protector on your phone for the rest of your life not really just because it looks ugly other than that if you can get a cleaner cut than me, sure it's gonna look a lot better but it's not really meant for that, it's just meant to you know, protect your iPhone until you actually get something good anyways, um, I hope this helped you guys out deciding whether you want to keep your wrapper on or not, now you know you have to cut right here on the top and you're gonna have to cut right here on the bottom as well so if you guys read that article like I did and you want to try it out, go ahead I would recommend getting the screen protectors um, from Amazon or eBay. Those are way cheaper than getting them in store for $25 or something like that. Uh, in terms of these guys, the protectors for your iPhone, well, those cases, I wouldn't recommend a case like this. This is a temporary case, again, um, although it looks nice and I like it, if I drop my iPhone like this, the screen will hit first because the case itself doesn't go a little bit more up than it should so usually cases go a little bit more up so that it will hit first and not your screen on the floor right so that will protect it a lot more now these type of cases you don't want for your iPhone 6s or 6 because they're not really protecting it that much so I would re highly recommend getting one of those really good ones, heavy duty ones um, again, just on eBay or Amazon, you can get these type of cases. So this is a for 6s. Okay, these are five. This has a 6s, and this is a 6s plus case. Um, however, this type of case is really heavy duty, so I would actually recommend one of these. I've had these before, and they protect your iPhone really, really well. 
Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.